Hello everybody, I'm Dutch and I would like to show you today how to install uh, suspensions on the gathered end hammocks and also the ridge line. Uh, this works for a whoopee sling, it works for a continuous loop and also a cinch buckle. We'll do the cinch buckle first. I like to use circular needles, um, however you could use a crochet hook, you could use just a pen that you tape it onto. Um, this just works very well for me. So, I hook it on like that, and you pass that through the gathered end. You now have two ends. You're going to pass through the cinch buckle through the other loop, but I want to install a, a ridge line onto this hammock. So before I do that, I want to put it on this loop because this is the loop that's going to be held tight to the hammock. Pull that tight. I like to pull it as tight as I can. When you lay in the hammock, it will get so tight that it'll be difficult to undo. On the cinch buckle, an important note on that is that when you pull from this, you grab the end of the hammock and you pull, and it should pull straight. If it's pulling a little bit crooked, you want to loosen this up and manipulate it so that it's pulling straight or it could slip. On the ridge line, you'll notice that it's going around the loop that's holding that down and that way it can't come off. For a continuous loop on the other end of the hammock, the procedure is the same. Now the only thing different on this is you're going to have the part that was spliced, which is going to be fatter, and the thin part. You want the part to be spliced to be what's held down to the hammock. So that's where you're going to install your ridge line. The thin one goes through the thick one, and again, you pull that really tight. Thank you everybody.